Thank you. State lawmakers are looking at ways to improve customer service at the Division of Motor Vehicles. One option they're exploring is actually letting the private sector handle some of its duties. WRL Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie live at the Avon Ferry DMV with what's being proposed here. You know, Dan, House and Senate Republican leaders say they don't know yet whether fully privatizing the DMV would be a good idea. But they said something has to change because this, what's in place just isn't working for too many people. If you've tried to make an appointment to renew your license or get a driving test lately, you already know DMV offices in the Triangle area are booked up months in advance. Taking your chances on getting a walk-in spot can mean hours of waiting and you still might leave empty-handed. State lawmakers think privatization might be the answer. A study is taking place right now to see if it's feasible to contract out some or all of the DMV's current functions. As people are extremely frustrated waiting two and a half hours in line, having to get a ticket. Senator Michael Lazara says license plate agencies are already mostly privately run, and so are inspection stations, and that has worked well for the most part. He says other functions might also be handled better by the private sector, like branch operations or software system upgrades. And this is not an attack on the agency. It's just we're at a point where we've got to make some changes. We've, we've got to figure out how we can deliver a service more efficiently and effectively, and that's our job. Privatization would be complicated. The DMV manages a lot of sensitive data that federal law requires confidentiality for. The agency also interfaces with voter registration and criminal records. Only one state has fully privatized its DMV, Hawaii. Uh, the study is expected to be finished in May, but Lazara said because this is the short session, they may not be able to do an overhaul of the agency until 2025. Uh, the DMV, through a spokesman, declined to be interviewed for this story. Dan? Very interesting. Laura Leslie, thank you.